Another point that uh, you had mentioned, Jenny Ford, our executive director for the Chamber of Commerce, and the Chamber is a big portion of this too, because there's always this uh, connection with the Commerce Department, which is a big deal for us, not only with PEP, but with the Chamber as well. And we work together frequently throughout the entire state. We never know what won't come in front of us until we try for something, if that makes sense for you. And I always make this statement, we don't know what we can't do because we haven't done it yet, folks. And I'm a big believer in that because we really don't know. And so I'm kind of excited and I'm looking forward to the day when we really do have some real tangibles and we can say, okay, this is what happened. And I think that will be big for the community and, and uh, this council as well as our partners. Right. I was just going to say relative to the timeline that it takes a little while to get traction and just in a year or so you're just barely starting to get traction so I'm thinking that in the next year year and a half we we'll really start to see some tangible results it's just there has to be a momentum developed before we really start seeing things happen I, I appreciate that comment because that that is that is absolutely correct and we're already starting to see some of those tangibles with the discussions that are happening with some of the local businesses but they're difficult to see until they really become a reality and i think over the course of the next year that's exactly what you will see yeah yeah thank you for joining us tonight <coughs> i have a couple different questions so one uh, so for the metrics for the different kinds of meetings, are those the, the specific deliverable, is that supposed to be contributing to the deliverables of the partners? <coughs> is that the purpose of, yes. of the meeting? Okay. That's correct. Great. Um, and then as far as the deliverables for the city of Moscow, so when you're finding grants, are you then making recommendations and then the city ends up the city ends up writing them or is it so we are not a grant writing organization okay. that's not our job is to provide another set of eyes out into the various resources that we have that we can point the city or the university or the county or the chamber back to in order yeah. to help write those grants thank you for clarifying and then I just had one more question could you tell me a little bit more about the website development so when you're talking about first step coming on and then embarking on a website addition to that so as we continued as we have continued to mature one of the things that this e this economic development ecosystem and the ability to have all these resources available becomes more and more important and a website is an outstanding way to both promote what the county has to <coughs> offer and link to all the websites that the county already has um, but also to have this um, and to have this economic development ecosystem present on that but then it's the real advantage from my perspective is in the small cities um, they haven't had established web presences many of them they don't have a mechanism to promote themselves from an economic development perspective and this website for PEP with these sub sites off of it for the cities consolidates all of that information in one place and lets them uh, gives them a real advantage that they don't currently have now from the city perspective what we're able to do is to pull all of this information into yeah. one place it's currently distributed in a lot of different places so first step uh, came on as a partner and their job in this is to develop and manage and host this website for us which is a real both a monetary advantage for the community um, but it, but it's a real advantage for pep in getting this information out yeah. Just one more question. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So that's the second commercial member. Who's the first? Avista. Avista, okay. Avista. Great. Paul Kimmel is one of our board members. Avista has <clears throat> been, I mean, obviously, Avista is an unbelievable supporter of, of our community mm -hmm. in general, right? And, and Paul is really has a lot of expertise in economic development and works with organization, economic development organizations around the region. And he brings that knowledge to us and, and has really helped us to streamline what we want to do. In Thank you, Dan. Yep. Randy. Um, um, so I appreciate the challenge of starting and being being quite new, and maybe there hasn't been time yet, but I'm curious if you have been able to identify any grants that were brought to the city. Um, not not at this juncture. Okay. Not yet. No. But I think we will especially in communication with the university because we have people at the university that are specifically out there looking for grants and many times they won't be something that's involved with our <coughs> research and that way through the TAC team they can bring that to the mm -hmm. to the city yeah. okay. and another question right. um, 
Is the county a partner? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Sorry if I failed to mention that. Absolutely. Okay. They are Good. they are a partner. Uh, Dick Walser is our board member uh, from the county, and uh, yeah, no, they've you know the topic of collaboration that Mayor Lambert brings up is is really personified in. Pep, when we meet, it really truly is about the benefits of all the organizations, and we don't get hung up in the specifics of, um, uh, you know, of one organization over another. Everybody really is looking out for everyone else. It's kind of a, that's a fun environment that doesn't often happen in my job, and so it's kind of nice to go to these meetings and see that kind of behavior uh, consistently applied. It's called an even playing field. Yeah. Because what benefits really, honestly, what if we were to bring a business into Potlatch, that's going to benefit Moscow. And if we bring a business into Moscow, it's going to benefit Genesee. And, and we need to think of it in that manner. And I think we are. And because of that, I think we'll be more successful. You had another question, um, Yeah, lastly, um, I'm on the... Urban Renewal Agency Board, and but I know that a lot of times there are other groups working behind the scenes that I'm not aware of. So, uh, but I was curious about any specific things that PEP has been working on associated with the URA. Any? So nothing specific. I know that we've answered questions from um, you know prospective companies that would like to relocate about mm -hmm. options in their urban renewal districts and things like that, but I don't think anything specific to what you're talking okay. about. Okay, thank you. But again, those opportunities exist because we've got the right people already part of the organization. Jim. I have one question for you. In, ter in terms of Vista being you know, a business partner, has have they been approached about uh, initiating a community solar program where they would um, provide capital to uh, build a solar farm that could be expanded and benefit all the communities in the county as an economic development engine? I don't know, but I'm excited now to go and find out. <laughs> so I'm Me going too. to email Paul as soon as I get done. I, I, no, I, I saw some place that somebody done the calculation, and if we could identify 500 acres that we would put that on, we could completely supply the city of Moscow with electricity. So maybe that's an, a number you can take to them. And <coughs> intriguing. I, 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 don't, I don't know that those discussions have gone on, but I'm going to find out for you, and I will get back with you. Thank you. Thank you. Haven't gone on. Yeah. Yeah. Does working with Whitman County fall under the scope of PEP? In so any capacity? from a partnership perspective, yes, they're not an official partner of PEP, but WSU and the the uh, you know the port of Whitman, the county, and the city of Pullman—they all have resources here too, and that's part of this ecosystem concept: is understanding within our region what's available. Obviously, we're focused on what's available in the county and our state first, but those resources are eight miles away, and we want to make sure that those are available to prospective partners uh, or prospective companies as well. So. Uh, it, it, it's in the scope, but it's not our focus right now. Our focus right now, Gina, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, please, but our focus is really on Latah County and the resources that the state offers to us. It would be remiss as an economic development organization, however, if we ignored eight miles away. It would be remiss. So I am aware of all that's available or a lot that's available over there. Mapping that ecosystem will really help us know as well, and then we have that in our toolbox. But right now, um, we need to figure out what's going on in Idaho. That's our yeah, focus. We have Chamber has amazing activities. Palouse Knowledge Corridor has amazing activities. We have amazing activities. We need to make sure that those are are, are moving in the same path, right? And we don't right. want to we don't want to stop creativity or anything like that. But we want to understand what it is and what we have to offer. And one of the things that adds to uh, the power of this is folks from EMSI that can uh -huh. help us identify these things. They have a bunch of bright people there that can really zone in on things for us and I think that's a big a big thing for PEP and for our area. Okay. Just for a little more background, um, so when you when you all were beginning to put this together, is are there other models out there that you kind of cherry picked from? S or there's nothing exactly like PEP which is okay because there's nothing exactly like Latah County. <laughs> um, but yes, to answer hey, your hey, question. Hey, after that, all. That wasn't meant to be a negative yeah. by the way. Yeah. I, I consider that a positive. Let, let me interrupt <laughs> something here. Latah yeah. County is the only county that took an act of Congress to make it a county in the United States. So yes, we are unique, <laughs> we are ladies unique. and gentlemen. All right. No, I, I consider that a good thing. Yes, there were models. And in fact, as we continue to evolve, Gina's worked with a, a number of, uh, of different organizations 
locations. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking Cito. Twin Falls. Cedo uh, is yeah. a good has been a good model for us. The some of the things that organizations offer, we're incorporating others. We're recognizing that's probably beyond our scope and our capabilities right now. So let's put those on the parking lot. Let's put those in phase two mm -hmm. and, and work from there. But yeah, there there are models out there, and Cedo I think is probably the most prevalent one that we've looked at and used. Um, you might want to mention too about MZ and their partnership from day one. They were they were the, a big contributor of their software and all of that data oh, for yeah. us from day MZ's one. MZ's provided data and access to software. They've provided Gina the opportunity to go to training and com mm -hmm. and conferences to better understand how to utilize the data. They were a big part. The data was a big part of our vitality report that yeah. I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And now with them involved in our strategic planning process, mm -hmm. I definitely see a long term partnership with MZ. Yeah, I do too. Other comments for Dan? Excellent report, Dan. Thank you very much. We'll be looking forward to seeing the next thing, the next quarterly report uh, from you folks and, and measure see how we're going. So thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you thank for your you. time. I appreciate it.